super annoyed right now that uh, my room is really messy but my room is messy for good reasons let me explain but first good morning guys how are you all doing my name is of course Alex guys and welcome back to another daily vlog yes guys you heard me correctly it's daily on this channel you all know this I'm speaking to the people that are probably new here yes we do daily vlogs about tech and loads of random things and we like to keep it real so for those of you that do know me you'll know that this isn't me mess isn't me Alex Brooks Mars bar he doesn't like mess we don't like having having sparks and, and things and airs and big boxes and random mice and keyboards all over the desk and, and laptops on their side but there's a good reason for all of this and let me explain this in two parts <laughs> So, the boxes. Why is there loads of boxes in my room? Well, uh, I'm a little bit annoyed at myself because uh, I got ahead of myself, I, I lost track on a few things, and for this guy's, I am sorry. I did some giveaways along with Asus a little while back, and uh, a few of these boxes have the products in that I was actually meant to send off, so uh, I need to go and do that. Because I, uh, well, I love giving back to you guys, so I'm gonna go and send those off in a second. And this laptop, guys, and all of these cables on the floor on its side right here is pretty much because, uh, well, I'm testing something out with this laptop. And if you guys didn't see the unboxing video of this laptop, I'll put a little annotation up there in the top corner. But you can go ahead and watch me uh, unbox this. Oh wow, it's see-through on the bottom. I didn't even realize that. This is a very expensive gaming laptop that I'm currently testing out. And that is kind of what today's video is about. I want to build a portable 4K gaming rig. A couple of words in there you probably usually wouldn't put in the same sentence. Today is gonna be fun. But before I tell you guys how I'm managing to put gaming, portable and 4K in the same sentence, I'm gonna go and uh, take these giveaway items to the post box so they'll be with the giveaway winners tomorrow. <laughs> I need it there tomorrow. Bro, thank you very much. Have a great day. Cheers. All posted. But God, look at this weather. It's all great. It's horrible. How is this inspiring? Maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should use the drone. <laughs> Guys, let me show you how to land your drone. What you do is you do this, look. You land it on top of your car like that. There we go. And then you uh, you click that, and you uh, uh, retrieve the drone. Sorted. This mother care, by the way, my new favorite toy that I've bought in a long, long time. So guys, I've arrived into the office. Well, actually, I'll tell a little bit of a lie to you. I haven't just arrived into the office. I got to the office about 45 minutes ago and I've been sat uh, at the editing desk doing a little bit of work. But to you guys, I've just got to the office and um, this right here is the 4K monitor. We unboxed in yesterday's video. If you didn't see the unboxing, go and check it out. It came in, it came in this box. Thanks LG for sending it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. words portable 4k and gaming in the same sentence so I understand that this is really stupid and it may not work but I have a plan for this 4k monitor for this video to try and build exactly that and to do that I need to unplug this monitor and take it all the way home and then I'll tell you guys how I think we are just about just about going to pull this off So 
So guys, I've just got back home with our brand new 4K monitor from LG. And uh, well, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I've just tested everything out, my little plan in my brain, and it's uh, it's it's all worked. So what I'm gonna do is take all of this down to the kitchen and just to pretend that we're in some sort of remote location as this system is meant to be portable gaming uh, 4K. And uh, I think we'll go from there. So uh, kitchen, shall we? So guys, let's put together the portable 4K gaming rig and uh, well, I need to go first and get the gear, if this works. And guys, there we go. So guys, before I get to gaming on this thing, I want to give you a little bit of a tour around this whole setup and how I've made this really, really simple. Now I want you to pay attention to all the small little details I've done. So let's start from getting power to this whole thing. So this entire setup uses one plug. Now obviously I'm in the UK here, so I'm using a, a UK plug. Just the one cable plugs in, goes around here, and it goes into this little surge protector, which then has two plugs on it. One for the power brick for the laptop, more on that in a second, and one to power the monitor. And as you can see, both of those cables just come up here. Now, it does have a twist tie which comes with the laptop. You could make this look a little bit neater, but there's no point in that really, just for this demonstration. And now, this is where things get really, really interesting, and I'm really liking modern technology because of this. Unfortunately, USB-C from this monitor isn't enough to charge the laptop, so we do need the power cable for the laptop. More on the laptop in a second because it's a beast. I'm pushing full on 4K, 60 Hertz, HDR from the laptop, from its USB-C port right here through this nice little cable which I've wrapped around there, straight into there, and we're sorted. The brilliant thing about that is, uh, as well as the USB-C cable transferring the image to the monitor, it also enables these two USB ports on the back of the monitor. So what we can go ahead and do there is permanently leave in this little unifying receiver right here, which will then interface with our wireless mouse and keyboard. So hopefully, yeah, that works absolutely fine. Mouse, sorted. So now the setup is plug it into the wall and then plug the laptop into the monitor. That's it. Now, obviously not a wise keyboard choice for gaming right here. You should be using something like the Lapdog from Corsair, which is Corsair's wireless mouse and keyboard combo system. I do have that at the office, but just for this, I'm going to use this K90 and an MX Master, as it's wireless and simple to use, and it's also backlit when you put your hand over the keyboard. For sound, I'm using this Dali Bluetooth speaker, which I've connected via Bluetooth to the laptop. Now more on the laptop. It's a HP Omen gaming laptop with a SSD in it, a 1080 graphics card, an i7 latest gen. It's super thin and works wonders. Passing the 4K image up to this display. Now, what I have had to do is go into the laptop settings and tell it that when the power cable is connected to the laptop and you close the lid, not to stop the laptop from running. Before, I was closing the lid of the laptop and it was turning off the display and it was a nightmare, but I've told it when the power cable is plugged into the laptop right there to keep running the machine. So uh, let's open Tidal and see if we can uh, stream some music. Oh, and uh, talking about gaming and streaming, obviously we need to get internet to this thing, and if you're a gamer, you're probably all about Ethernet. Well, my house has a wireless AC literally everywhere. We have three or four access points around the house. This laptop currently has the latest AC standards, so uh, I'll run a quick speed test for you. This is mental, everything is so small because of the resolution. Let's give this a go and see what happens right now. As you can see, it's saturating pretty much all of my network with an upload of about 100 and a download of 129 with a ping of the... Wait, that, that, that upload's lacking. Please go up, up, up. There we go, that's a little bit better. I think this is going to be fine. Let's play some music on Tidal, play. Now I know what you're all thinking, 
in. Alex, goddamn open Steam. And, uh, well, that's exactly what I've just clicked on. Let's do some gaming in 4K. Right, I've launched PUBG. Let's see if I can play a game. I'm in, uh, I'm in Ultra. 4K gaming, portably, can be done. And this is the state of computers right now. This is where things are heading. The fact that we can put a 1080 inside of this and we can game on 4K just using one plug socket. It's just brilliant because it proves to you that, well, Saying something like this three or four years ago, you would have been like, no way. There's no way I could game at 4K at 60 and in HDR on Ultra in a game that's not even well optimized to run with very, very, very minimal effort. I hear people all the time say, look, we've got to this point now with technology where everything's pretty much as good as it can get, and I totally disagree. Things are gonna keep getting better and better and better and better. And I think we've just proven that today. Gaming here in 4K, using one single plug socket, setting the whole thing up in about two minutes to getting into a game. Now I'm not saying this is accessible to everybody because obviously the laptop, the monitor, the speaker even, and the keyboard and mouse, it's all not cheap stuff. And uh, whether or not you'd actually even do this if you could afford this gear, Debatable. It's a bit silly, but I've just done it to try and prove that it can be done. To prove it to myself that it can be done. Look at that. I think I'm just super, super impressed. So you think, guys, the room is still a bit of a mess. Actually, still largely a mess. I've still got some other bits to send off to a few of you guys, but these things are going overseas. Here's the monitor from earlier, but I'm super happy we've proved the point that we set out to prove today. That we can make a little portable, in inverted commas, 4K gaming rig. It worked and that was what I was looking for and it really gave me faith in technology moving forward in the future. Really cool stuff, but for now, it's CrossFit time. Uh, yeah, taking the health seriously too, as well as all this 4K gaming stuff. Now what the hell are you looking at? Is that a screw fix book? No, it's tool station. You tool sorry, station book. Can I just say you got one of these the other day as well? <laughs> I put it straight in the bin. No, no, sorry, don't put it in the bin. You get free prizes if you. Keep you don't it. get free prizes. No, All I want is a Nando's, please. We rise, we rise, we fall. We rise, we rise, we fall. We rise, we fall. People do say to me, Alex, why do you come to Nando's a lot? Just enjoy it. It's just very nice food. It's not too expensive. And it's a good bonding session with your friends. Nice music. Don't understand what they're saying. If you haven't been to Nando's, you really need to try it. It's really, really, really nice. 